Hello everybody and welcome back to Panto vlog number seven? Seven! This is the start of a four show weekend. We are about six minutes away from opening curtains and Izzy is going to do my wig. My first wig, wig, weave. Let's do it Izzy. I'm a trained professional. Are you going over your ears? Uh, yeah, over my ears. Sarah and Shane are here. Sarah and Shane. Who are Sarah and Shane? Huh? Who are Sarah and Shane? Family friends. Okay, family friends. We've got some family friends. Um, can you shout out the first loud yeah, yeah, rainbows and brownies? First loud brownies. And rainbows. And rainbows. Yeah, thank you. The downsides of being a dame. Let's do this. Right, got my confetti cannon, shoelaces and outside up. Um, maracas, any maracas? Got my maracas, got my confetti cannon. Got a Hermione Maltman in my way. I apologise. Right, first scene of the four shows now done. Oh, that went very well. Very well. How's it go for you? You keep forgetting that second scene. Yeah, me too. No, you keep getting <laughs> We're all just there going, Izzy, get on stage! <laughs> Ooh, flip singing. Do you know what I haven't done in a while? Manatee. I actually enjoy this part of the show because I've got quite a bit of time just to relax and watch the show. Hey look, it's worth Wally. There's just a bit of a malfunction with the boat. The boat may have crashed, but um, they got through it. So now, there you go. Just passed off a, a telescope. And now I need to put my wig on and go ready. Start button. No, off. On. Not on this side. Huh? <laughs> Press this button. <laughs> do you know how to turn it off? Press the camera. How do you turn it off? Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. That's the first act done. I may have accidentally thrown Tinkerbell. <laughs> may have. Exactly. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> right, so. Act one is in the bag. We're now just setting up for act two. Act two. How's that going for you? I think it's going excellently. I think it's going very well indeed. Mass and crime is always different because they laugh at different things because the age, average age is a lot lower. So a lot of the slapstick, a lot of the silly stuff, a lot of the doors in the faces getting very good responses. Okay, that is show one of the weekend done. It is currently 3.39, which meant that was two and a half hours? Two, and a, two hours 40 minutes since we started. So we've now got until six, so we've got... Wow, we haven't got that long. I haven't got long at all. Oh, weirdly satisfying taking eyelashes off. <laughs> Oh, 
Right, let's wipe this face, get some food, and then um, on to show two. I am ready for the outdoors. No one will know that I currently have my hair in a hairnet. <laughs> and that I'm still wearing my long johns from the show. <laughs> we're gonna get a co-op, get some food. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we're at the co-op. Welcome. Yes. Right, what do I want to eat? I don't want cheese or anything like that. Um, oh, should we get some truffle chips? Pork pies. I do like a good pork pie. Saucy. Your roll. Ah, unicorn finger puppets. Yeah. Um, I don't think I don't think it'd suit me. The uh, the co-op drip. Right, uh, I'll see you back at the theatre. So I finished eating my lunch. Uh, it is currently half past four. Um, which means normally this is the time I'd be arriving before a show, about an hour and a half before the show. Um, to get ready, but luckily today, obviously, I kept the hair net on. So hopefully, I don't know if I can see, but hopefully I don't need to reapply that, so I can just kind of get into makeup at maybe quarter past five, get ready for the vocal warm up at half five, and then be ready for the show at six. Shout outs to this man cleans up my confetti mess um, between each show, which is kind of crazy because this weekend, that means he's gonna tidy up in between every show and then before the next show. So he's gonna have to do four lots of cleaning up the auditorium. Also, book your tickets now because by the time you're watching this, there'll be a few shows left. So if you haven't already booked your tickets, book your tickets. Now, there is something I want to do that I did last vlog time, and that is kind of find out how many people are involved in this year's production. And the way we do this is we go and steal a program. I have found the program. Let's have a little looky look. Ah, this is the page we want. Right, this is where time lapse comes in handy. Time lapse me reading the book. And the results are in. That is 126 people just named in this program. Again, just like last time, does not include people like the chaperones, uh, the sponsors. Uh, we also have a shout out to Jam Scenery and Props. Uh, does not also account for the front of house staff, people on hospitalities and all that kind of stuff. So that again, once again, shows you how big of a project these kind of shows are and how much of a community show this thing is. All right, all ready for show two. Show two, let's go. Show two. Oh look, family photo. Yeah, babe. Yeah. I think we're about to go up, so let's go. Right, we're just done. My making up monologue, which never know how it's going to go, went really well. Oh, he's got he's got magical hands. It was the greatest massage of my life. So I've not vlogged much of tonight's performance, but it's going rather well. A few hiccups here and there, but um. It's coconuts, aren't they? I've got them coconuts all this time, they're kiwis. It looks a bit, um... <laughs> What's the capital of Kenya? Oh, don't. <laughs> I did this last year and I said Paris. <laughs> no, you said Nairobi. No, it's Nairobi. That's, that's it. Hello, everybody. It is now the Sunday. I am extremely tired. Spen is on his way to pick me up. We're going to go to Starbucks before the show. And hopefully these shows are going to be as good as the other three. The other three have been top-notch shows. Hopefully the carry-on so we go into the break feeling really, really good because these are the last two shows 
until Wednesday. So then we get two days off. Two days off. So we need to end on good times so that we go into the break feeling good and we come back feeling good. Look at that sunrise. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> right, after our little Starbucks expedition, we are back at the theatre. Uh, and I'm not going to lie, I might have left it. I might be pushing me time now. So uh, let's get wig on. And speaking of the wig lady. It's so mad. Why? So sorry, it's Got, where where did it so early for you? Oh, sorry. No, I could have been in bed longer. I know you. It's okay. Yes! I need to get my eyelashes done, lips, cheeks, costume, wig. Let's go! Quarter an hour. Quarter an hour. Yeah, quarter an hour. How are you feeling today, Jack? Uh, I'm actually ready and rearing for it today. I was tired last night, but I'm refreshed now. I am the opposite. <laughs> I'm more tired. Oh, poo. I hit my head on the door. Afternoon. Oh, uh, hello. Oh, so sorry. More people coming. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. So I think this audience is all right. Um, they're a bit quiet, but I think it's because they're a younger audience. So I think they're going to laugh at the crazy stuff more than the kind of like subtle stuff. So I'm thinking Joel and Jack are probably have a good afternoon. So this scene, the door scene, is going down a treat today. Who knew children was all this scene needed? Act one, show three, done. Yeah. We're a good audience. They're, they're a very, very good audience indeed. And they're still in the, character, sorry. They're a very good audience indeed. They're um, shouting out, they're all having rowdy. fun. Rowdy, rowdy, Not rowdy. the loudest <laughs> laughers. Yeah, it's because they've got the terrible joke, the most terriblest jokes, isn't it? I know, to be fair. How you feel? <laughs> Is it a very Francis, Francis Bourgeois? <laughs> Look, a train! You're such a Westlife fan. Absolutely, Westlife for life. Westlife for life. Westlife for life. That's Wheatus. Yeah, no. It's not Westlife, that's Wheatus. <laughs> uh, when you're looking like that. When you're looking like that. I can't believe it. Oh, wow, I'm not, I'm not doing this. A song to sing. To help me fly. You are a very good dame. Thank you. Uh, some may say the best ever. Who do you think the best princess is? Oh. Ever? Me or Alan? Fine. Sorry, darling. Um, I think Alice. Sorry. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was Whatever. really bad. <laughs> I mean, you should have seen it. Oh, scary. How are you feeling? Good. Very good. Final show of four Make sure you keep shouting. this weekend. Yeah, awesome. Break tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so first scene of the final show of this weekend done. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say it was it was a good scene. All went well. Um, no, I um I don't know. I'm gonna go like a sixty percent. Right, we are at the interval of the final show of this weekend and my voice is starting to get a little bit hoarse, a little bit rough, so I'm really thankful for the two days coming up. I've got the honey tea just to get me through uh, the rest of this performance. Um, how's it gone for you, Spendler? Uh, it's been very good, but I've never been this hot in my life. Um, I've just been standing outside in the freezing cold. Not going to moan about the cold, but... 
is most welcome. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Dancers again, there seems to be a recurring theme. I need to tidy up everything, get my makeup off, go home and have a rest. Day. That's me all tidied and done for the weekend. As you can see, pretty sure I'm last one standing. Um, but yeah, great four show weekend. Amazing audiences all round. Thank you, everyone. Oh, it's very dark. Thank you, everyone, who came to watch the shows, to support us. Um, you guys are amazing. So, if you have not already booked your tickets for Peter Pan 2022 at the Revere Theatre, make sure you do that. Don't forget to also like and subscribe. Stay safe, stay amazing, and until next time, see ya.